Chronify can help you schedule interviews faster and more efficient right from your own ATS greenhouse. No more going back and forth around availabilities, no more calendar Tetris, and speaking to candidates sooner and also scheduling sooner. So let's say we have Tara Johnson, who applied for the role as a senior software engineer. The application review of the resume was positive and you want to move her to a screening call. Once you've moved her candidate to the next stage, um, usually what you would do is either request availability or schedule an interview. However, um, if you're working with Chronify, the way you would work is to email the candidate directly with a booking link. So this booking link uh, already includes the availability. You send it to the candidate and they can plan their interview right away via that link. <clears throat> so let's say um, in this case, we want to schedule the screening call. The way that you would create the link for the candidate is via the extension in your browser. And as you can see here, um, the templates we will not look at for now because that's for panel interviews. But if you schedule a call for either yourself or on behalf of a hiring manager, you can either start from a recent request or create a request from scratch. A recent request is helpful if you've uh, scheduled a similar interview, maybe for the same role or for a different role. And once you select one of those recent requests, it will pre-fill the information and you just need to click to create the link and you can send it to the candidate. Um, for illustrative purposes, we'll now create a request from scratch so you can see what that looks like. So once you start creating a request, what you will see here is that the candidate information is automatically pulled into the extension. So the interview, uh, the, the candidate's uh, email address will be here. Either if you're scheduling for yourself or perhaps you're scheduling for a hiring manager uh, or recruiter that's different than yourself, you can do it via the same way in this extension. For now, we'll uh, show or show you what it looks like if you plan it for yourself. So the first details you will see here is the meeting details. Um, these are pulled from your standard scheduling preferences and we'll leave it at 30 minutes for now as the screening call. The next thing to think about is how you want to provide availability to the candidate. So as you can see, there's three ways of providing availability. Working hours usually providing the most uh, slots for a candidate to choose from and specific slots being the one where the slots are usually less, but it provides you a little bit more control over your calendar. <clears throat> As you can see here with the working hours, what we do is we look at your actual calendar from nine to five in your own time zone. And we look at what the free slots are within those nine, uh, within those working hours. So in this case, um, for a screening call, we recommend to select the next seven days. So that means that you will provide slots to the candidates that are uh, available in your calendar for the next seven days. If you want to schedule something for a hiring manager where a candidate needs to do a little bit more preparation, you can think about scheduling uh, for the next 14 days to give the candidate a little bit more time to prepare for the interview. The other option that we have is to work with custom hours. So this is especially helpful if you have uh, allocated times in your calendar where you want to have interviews. So let's say Friday mornings you have allocated for interviews and let's say also Tuesday afternoons you've allocated for interviews. If you drag and drop the green ones, the areas you see here, are um, the blocks within which we'll look at availability in your calendar. So that means that Friday, mor uh, Friday morning and Tuesday afternoons, we look at what are the free slots and those are the ones that the candidate can choose from. What you can also do here is overwrite actual calendar availabil availability. So let's say you are scheduling an interview for a hiring manager and you've agreed with the hiring manager that they kept or that they would keep Thursday uh, mornings free for interviews, then you can select the times you've discussed and you can also choose to uh, override availability. 
So it means that if there are some other items here in the calendar, that it will still provide these slots to the candidate. Um, the only thing that will not be overwritten is other Chronify interviews that are scheduled. So as you can see here, there are some other interviews scheduled, so those will still be blocked out. But that's an option to, um, um, to add. The third option is specific slots. So it could also be that you have very specific slots in mind uh, that you want to offer to a candidate. So let's say we add a couple here. Um, then you can also just provide these three slots to a candidate. Here again, you can choose to uh, have them schedule these interviews during these times when you're free in the calendar, but you can also decide to let them override current calendar availability so that they can always choose from these three slots. In this case, let's go for the working hours and in the next seven days and create a link for a candidate. So this link, you would just copy into your email template and send it out. What the candidate will receive is this booking form. So as you can see, um, <clears throat> the candidate can see when do they want to have the interview. And let's say we choose the 14th at 3 p.m. Once the candidate confirms, both the interviewer and the candidate will receive um, an invitation in a calendar and an email with the uh, confirmation of this interview. And once the interview is scheduled by the candidates, you will also see it reflected here in Greenhouse. So that's the way to go about scheduling a call either for yourself or on behalf of someone else uh, right from your own ATS Greenhouse with Chronify.